G'day guys, welcome back to the general store, or should I say, my living room. It is good to finally be back after a long hiatus, but we're back and we're making something special today. Here's a question for you. Do you wear pants? Do you sometimes struggle to keep those pants up? Well, I have just the thing for you. A belt. Now, if you are like most of the world that wears pants, you probably use a belt to keep your pants up. And if you are like most of the world, you probably buy your belt from the shops. Big W, Kmart. And if you're buying belts from those places, you probably realize that they don't last very long. You might get six months to a year's worth of daily use out of them. Something like this is gonna last you far, far, far longer than anything that you can buy from one of those shops in the store. Sure, you'll pay a little bit of an extra premium, but instead of having to buy a new belt every six months, you'll only have to buy one every 10 years. Plus, I think they look way nicer, so you get that too. So that's what we're making today. And this one's a special one actually, because my dad is getting married in about two weeks time. So we are gonna make up some wedding day belts that we are gonna be wearing, and it's gonna be a good time. All right, so this is the strap that I've uh, just cut, and you can see it's sort of two-tone. You've got this sort of lighter uh, brown side here, and you flip it over, and it's a little darker. You can't really tell on camera, but it is. So technically, this is the supposed to be the front side, but my dad decided that he wanted uh, this side because he thinks the color's a bit nicer. And I agree, I think it's a bit nicer. So that's the side that we're gonna do facing out. That's what the belt is gonna look like. I feel like I can't skive for the life of me. I have two tools, uh, a skiving knife, and one of these safety skivers, which has like a razor blade in there. And both of them just don't feel like they're sharp enough. Is that the issue? Is that is that what the problem is? Is that they're just literally not sharp enough? Or do I just really suck at skiving? Because I need to take away some of that width from that belt because otherwise when you put the buckle on there's just too much bulk there and then it kind of bunches up and it just it doesn't look as nice you know and it's harder to actually put it together I don't know if it's the leather or if it's the tools that I've got that just aren't that good but I just cannot I cannot do it nicely and I just I feel like it to me it doesn't feel like it's a skill thing but it probably is just a skill thing and I'm just not very good at it, but I don't know. So I got these belt keepers, these little brass ones that match the belt buckles. But I'm not convinced I really like them compared to like a nice leather one. So, I mean, so that's what it would be like with that one. And then this is what it's like with the leather. I think I like the leather one better. I just realized I haven't put the extra hole in yet. And I've <laughs> put it way off center. And so, how it's not lined up 
little bit sticks out the bottom there. You know, you can't unpunch a hole in leather, so, so I take it back. So what I've ended up doing is I've ended up punching just straight through that first hole on that side, this one, to line up the holes. And this one's going to be my belt, I think, because it's the first one and I screwed it up. Put the stud in. And it looks pretty much fine, aside from the back here. You can see that little hole in the first one. But when you're wearing it, it's not going to matter. So this one will be mine. This will be the test run. It'll be fine. Ah, oh, you bastard. So there's the belt finished. Um, I don't know what the problem is with the the buckle area where it like bunches up and then it kind of I don't know. It goes like crooked and wonky and I don't know if it's just because I cut the belt too short um, and so it doesn't have enough length to sort of you know, keep it straight or if it's a, a of pants that I'm wearing causes it to bunch up like that and do weird things or if it's too thick I don't know it's just I don't know it's kind of frustrating because I don't want it to do that and um, yeah it's just annoying if you get to the end of a project and you know you feel like you've wasted all that time because it didn't quite work out but it's good to do a bit of a test run before you know I do a batch of them for the wedding but I don't know. Still a bit frustrating. I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I do think I I cut the this bit a little bit too short. I mean, I tend to, you know, especially for these pants, I have to wear them a bit tighter because they're you know a bit big on me. But I don't know. I like the belt. It's just this bit here where it bunches up, kind of frustrating. Yeah, I don't know. If you know why the belt does that, um, drop a comment below and tell me so that I can fix it for next time. Because um, I'd like to figure that out. But anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate you watching me make a belt. Tune in next time for whatever it is that I end up doing. Peace.